fucking choke. Oh my god. Well, afternoon fuckers. It's Quentin Redbeard again, as you can probably see. Mostly by the fact that you've clicked on a video link from me, so you know that it's Quentin Redbeard. I know I am a logical thinker. So I've hurt my back. It really fucking hurts, actually. I've got a bad back. My L4 vertebra tends to have a bit of a on and off leaky disc. And anyone who's ever had a leaky disc or a slip disc will know it can be quite niggly. And when it really goes, it is fucking debilitating. So I waxed the bike this afternoon now. The bike's been waxed. And I got the fucking, I got a Dremel out because the header pipe. So I've got stainless headers, but you get all the fucking little bits of tar and bitumen and oil that get kicked up onto the headers, the front of the headers. Absolutely filthy. It looked like someone had slayed a jar of Marmite over my headers. So I set to work with the Dremel with the little buffing wheel and some Jewelers Rouge, which was going okay, you know? It wasn't as easy as I thought it might be. But then, because I had it set really high, I think I'd like, you know, you get that slag removal pattern on welds. I've kind of done that very gently in a couple of places. I think just where I held it in the same place for too long. But then I set it with the Brasso wadding. Brasso wadding, excellent for polishing stainless steel. And I think I got most of it off. And I got the head is quite a lot cleaner than I would have if I hadn't have fucked them up. It doesn't do any damage to them, it just marks them. So yeah. So yeah, the bike's been waxed, it's shiny as fuck. You can't really see it, I don't think. Oh, fucking hell, it's slippery as well. Can't really see it because I've uh, got the tank bag on. But I'll stick some photos up on El Facebook. I'll probably do that before you see the video anyway. So I don't even know why I'm saying that. I was thinking the other day as well about different vlogging styles because there's there's definitely certain styles and um, it's quite an obvious difference between them. You get the vloggers like me who ride around, talk, see some random shit, and you get the vloggers like Royal Jordanian who just put text over their video, and they they might put up like 45 seconds of no talking, just them filtering through some traffic in. People sit there and watch it. I sit there and watch it thinking, wow, that's, that's cool. But when it comes to my videos, if I, <laughs> if I come across a bit of one of my videos that I've filmed and it's me filtering through traffic for 30 seconds, I think, nah, fuck that. Nobody would be interested in watching that. So it's really weird, isn't it? I'm, what I might do is I'll do a video that's, that I think is incredibly boring and just see what sort of reception it gets. And then you get the really epic style videos, people who just like do riding with music and on sports bikes and whatever, which are generally quite exciting to watch. I think people like to watch those just because it's going fast. It's like, wow, look how fast he's going in real life. It's not even a computer game. I would do one of those, but I'm not really good enough. Yeah, it's just weird that I think that, pe that things that I think other people would find boring, other vloggers very successfully post and get loads of views and subscribers. Yes, hello Theobald. And I guess that's their thing. This is my thing. I don't know. I don't even know why I do this really, you know, I just think it's cool. It's cool to ride around, you know, and I, I think it's funny watching other vloggers and entertaining. So I thought, you know, I've got the means to do that. There's no reason I can't, so fuck it. There you go. Okay. Got it, no forklift, all right? Okay, good, glad we're clear on that. No forklift. Come on, you fuck nuggets. Stay green, stay green, stay green, stay green, stay green, thank you. Fucking okay, hell. The dizzy heights of a motorcycle vlogger. Oh, the fucking Ros is there now as well. Miserable cunts. Watch them all fight it out over the bottleneck now. Go on, all we'll fucking fight it out amongst yourselves. I'll be here picking up the pieces. Jap's eyes. You know you got your jumper hanging out your door, love. It's all fucking kicking off here, isn't it? Fucking rush hour traffic, shit, isn't it? Even on a bike, it's still annoying because it's easy enough to get through, but it's like taking your life into your own hands every time you have to do it. It's much nicer when there's nothing on the fucking roads. Cute 
cute little girly staring at me. I find that. They all look at me all the time. Pound Street. That's where they make pound coins. You have reached your destination. You have reached your destination. Fucking hell. Is that normal to be that out of breath? Shit. I hate that, I have to be like a fucking ninja sneaking out because I parked the bike right next to everybody's houses. That was disappointing, I was just watching uh, Hot Shorts Part Duh and she was flicking through and I said, oh, Hot Shorts Part Duh, I haven't seen that for years. And when I was like 14, me and my mates used to watch that probably a couple of times a week and we were like, oh, this is fucking genius, comedy genius. And we were about a quarter of an hour into it, I was like, this is shit, isn't it? And she was like, yeah, it's not the sort of thing I'd watch. And I was like, not me anymore, to be honest, either. Oh man, fucking work tomorrow. In fact, work in about eight hours. Fuck me, that shit. I fucking hate my job. Fucking hate it. Okay, now we're popping like a good one tonight. You drive like a cunt, mate, I tell ya. Car full of chubby looking twats, but then you could tell that from the way the driver was driving. War. It's fantastic. My left testicle is really fucking uncomfortable and I can't adjust it. It's like, it's trapped, you know? It's like cornered itself, right down in the crease of a piece of leather or something. So I'm just gonna have to man up and brave it out until I get home. She's caught in there good. Oh, 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 oh that's, that's like someone's just got a toffee hammer on the bottom of my testicle and giving it a good old smack. Actually, I'm gonna go in here, have a little bit of late night exploration. There's a Ferrari garage in here. What's this, just a fucking dead end? Yeah, there ain't fuck all here. Apart from a little security guy chilling out on his little security thing. Where the hell's this Ferrari thing then? No, I doubt there'll be any Ferraris on display because I think it's just a maintenance, uh, like a service centre. Meridian Medina, that's it. This is Ferrari in here. Yeah, no Ferraris around here. Apart from that twatting horse up on the side there. A Renault dealership, but the door's open. What the fuck are they up to in there? What are you up to in there, you cunts? Some manager shagging his secretary. Told his wife he's going away for the weekend on a fucking business trip. As he fuck, he's in there. He's got his fucking secretary bent over the fucking workbench. Greasy fucking hands. Double fisting her in the ass. Fucking couple of greasy mechanics filming it badly on their iPhones. And then in a couple of years, he'll tell her he wants it finished. And she'll say, I'll tell everyone you raped me. If you, if you finish it, and then he'll finish it, and he'll get done for rape, and he'll split up, his kids will end up the homeless, and he'll be shipped off to Romania to work as prostitutes. I've got it all worked out for him. Fuck my fucking hairy, fat, useless life. Yeah. Fucking loony tick. Who the fuck's out cycling at 10 o'clock at night, for fuck's sake? That's where I went to school. Hardly school. It's actually called the New Forest Academy, but it used to be called Hardly School. Everyone used to joke that we were hardly educated. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. I wonder if there's people in the world who've got fetishes about road signs. Like, shout, like you're driving around a sharp corner and fucking rubbing yourself off over the chevrons or something. Or, you know, you get the, fuck me, you imagine it, you get those big flashing ones on the motorway, like the mobile roadworks with the big fucking arrow. Oh, 